Hello, my name is Marty from Laminated Visuals, and today I will show you the different steps involved in plaque mounting and laminating. The images, posters, and newspapers originate from artists, photographers, and obviously newspaper companies, and they are shipped to a facility in Montreal, Canada for manufacturing purposes. The images, posters, and newspapers are sorted according to the manufacturing order. The newspapers are trimmed and mounted on different colored paper mats depending on the sports team. They are cleaned and black marks are removed using electric erasers. We use a lot of heat and pressure to eliminate as many creases in the newspaper as possible. Once this is done, every image is cleaned with a vacuum cleaner to remove all traces of dust. We are now ready for the laminating process. The images, posters, and newspapers are now ready to be laminated. Since the setup takes a long time, we process as many images as possible together. This step consists of applying a very thin film on top of the image to protect it and dry mounting glue on the bottom. They are both heat and pressure sensitive and are required to fuse the assembly together later in the press. Each print is cut and sorted and ready for the next step which consists of trimming the images to the final size using the electric cutter. Before trimming the image to the exact size, it is important to secure the dry mounting glue to the image to make sure that, that it does not move. We made a custom machine that applies the right amount of heat and pressure to accomplish this task. The images are now cut to the exact size using an electric paper cutter. Now that the images are ready, we need to cut the wood. To accomplish this task, we have two types of saws. This vertical panel saw is used to cut strips in the sheets of 4 feet by 8 feet MDF. And this table saw is used to cut the wood to the final size. In the future, we will incorporate this large vertical semi-automatic panel saw in production. The wood plaques are cleaned using a panel cleaner. It consists of two rotating brushes that scrub the plaques to remove any loose particles of MDF. In order to further eliminate all traces of dust, the plaques are then vacuum cleaned before setting the poster assembly on the plaque. After the plaques are all vacuum cleaned, the images are tacked to the fiberboard to make sure that they do not move in the press. The press is set to 2,500 pounds of pressure and preheated to 90 degrees. The plaques are inserted on the hot platen and will cure for a period of about two minutes.
consists of making the groove in the back for hanging purposes on a custom machine. now ready to make the beveled edge and apply the colored foil on the same machine one side at a time. finished product is cleaned and inspected in the cleaning booth. The styrofoam is now cut to the required length. The correct labels, screws, and styrofoam are applied to each flak and ready for the shrink wrap packaging. The final step consists of wrapping the planks with shrink wrap and to introduce them in a heated tunnel to shrink the plastic to the plaque. Another final inspection and the pricing labels are applied to the finished product. Now this concludes our video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Once again, my name is Marty and I love interacting with my customers. My phone number and email are available on the contact page of our website laminatedvisuals.com Thanks for watching and have a great day.